If you're a regular watcher of this channel, you might know that this is in fact not a Ford Escort, it is an MST Mark II. And if you've watched this channel before, you know that this will now be the third one that I've driven. Why am I driving another one, you ask? Well, the reason is simple. This particular car is probably the most expensive and most extreme iteration of one of these road legally. It's not a rally car, it's a road car. So I'm here to drive it with all of its 2.7 Millington engine sequential box glory. And it's raining again and it's really cold. I'm Johnny Smith, welcome to The Late Brake Show. So the whole idea with the MST is this is a brand new car. You can see it's a 72 reg and it's a Mark II. So the shell is all new. Then it's up to you, the customer, to say to MST, well, I want mine with the, you know, the Group 4 Rally style arches, or I don't. I want mine with the regular style arches. I want one with 15 inch wheels. I don't, I want one with 13s. And all of those little things, or I want giant CB type spotlights on the front. And the, this particular customer said, I want this to be a road car. So nice plush interior no roll cage, and I want the most expensive extreme engine and gearbox combination. And that's why this particular car is 150,000 quid. Let me show you under the bonnet. This is what it's all about in this instance. This engine is something like 30,000 pounds worth. If you're interested in escorts and classic rallying, you will know as soon as you see this cam cover, Millington Diamond, you know it's a serious powertrain. So it's a four cylinder injected 2.7 twin cam here and it's linked to in this instance a sequential tractive gearbox so two pretty hardcore things for a road car with no traction control and I'm just going to say it again it's really cold and it's really wet so if you like your escorts naturally aspirated between 335 and 365 horsepower so with a big load of horsepower and torque with no assistance of superchargers and turbos or anything like that, this is as good as it gets. If you've seen the other MST features that I've done, the Mark I had um, a BDG type engine, the Mark II had a two and a half litre Duratec, which is the entry level engine, still 250 horsepower. But the idea being it's, it's still a, it's a brand new car. It's a brand new IV aid car on a new reg and you can have it however you want. Oh, just in case you'd forgotten, this is Wales, North Wales. Why are we here? A, amazing roads. B, that's where the MST is made. Here we go then. Millington 2.7 and sequential in the pissing rain. Got to get some warmth into the tyres, really. These classic rally tyres, they're they're on the hard side. Right car, right roads, wrong weather. I'm always trying to be quite consistent. 
Paul Carr and it is box fresh. And although the Millington engines are bench run, and I am not going to shred this thing today because so much talk on, on tap that I can't really capitalise on when the weather's like this, it's cold and it's so, it's so wet. We've had three months of rain in about 36 hours. This particular car has such a quick steering rack, 2.4 turns, not for long. And this is rose jointed suspension and it really turns and it nips and tucks and it actually feels, it's twitchy. Can hear 
massive sequential box and straight cut gears are just vocal and also and normally they're louder than this actually because that stick is not directly onto the box it, it's linked down there So as I said, it's a steel bodied car. It's got alloy arches in this instance. And crucially, if you look through the window there, you'll see strut tops. That's because this has been converted from leaf springs that the original escorts had to coilovers. And there's a six link Atlas axle down there with a limited slip diff that's probably quite aggressive because it has to cope with all the power and all the transmission that this particular car has got. But inside, no roll cage. Well, let me show you actually. It's actually quite plush. Still got the rubber boot spoiler. When was the last time you spent 150 grand on a car and got a rubber boot spoiler? <laughs> it's great. Open the door with that familiar door handle. And you look in here and this particular Mark II has got a plusher interior. It's not rally sport really, although the centerpiece is this. Uh, the attractive six speed sequential gearbox with all the exposed linkage, but it's been tailored around with carpets. It's got soundproofing apparently, and it's got these lovely Recaro classic buckets, which are brand new, but old style. And this same fabric has been used on the door panels there. But again, still got wind down windows. It has got a hydraulic handbrake. This one has no back seat because of those um, turrets that I talked about but underneath there's a battery and there's a couple of other bits in that cubby. And this particular car has a redesigned center console that's been 3D printed and a brace of analog gauges that have the needle sweep when you start it up. But most importantly, there's a plaque right there. So whenever you drive it, you always see that it says 2.7 Millington Diamond. And that's because it's a bloody raw driving experience. This particular car is running Revolution uh, alloy wheels, 8J at the front, 9J at the rear, um, and it's got AP Racing four pot uh, calipers, 305 mil discs, and rose jointed suspension. It means business. But again, that's because of all that power <laughs> and no traction control. Oh, one thing I also should say, it's got discs at the back, Willwood discs at the back. It's also got an electric parking brake because it's got a hydraulic handbrake. So it makes that noise when you pull up if you use the electric handbrake. It is optional though. So you can use the clutch if you want to. You just have to be firm with sequentials. They're quite daunting at first.
get getting the world exclusive on the on the MST car initially. They've just got more and more um, adoration, and they've grown and developed the cars. And this thing is, you know, this is not something to be spec lightly. This engine. I have no idea what this would feel like in the dry, apart from the fact I could I could utilise all the power probably. More power than a a little car like this really really needs. In fact, about four times more power than it needs on one of the wettest days recorded. Or they're just maybe an average day in North Wales. God, there's something so cool about these. There's something so cool about driving a car like this, honestly. You all of the feel, all of the feels. Excitement and just a shitload of adrenaline going on in my my body right now. So, so you'll go away having seen some amazing scenery, but you will go away deaf. Certainly the more sensible option would be a Duratec two and a half litre uh, with a six speed H pan, which I've driven. And that's the, the entry level. If like me, you weren't sure about what on earth the Millington engine's background was. Well, a chap called Roy and his wife, husband and wife, racers who just happen to need a bit more power from their BDG and realise a lot of other fellow racers were getting through parts and parts supply were drying up. So they decided to build something a bit better, a bit more reliable. Oh my gosh, it's twitchy. These roads allow me to cut some beautiful lines in safety. Visibility is excellent, unlike when I drove that black Chevette. Because it's brand new, it's got a warranty and it's got no rust. And it's just an absolute, well, it is a weapon. It's an analog, an analog little European weapon. MST is motorsport tools. It is just a, a toy box for how you want your car. Do you want this steering wheel? Do you not? Do you want this type of gearbox? Or do you not? Do you want big wheels, small wheels? Comfortable interior. Do you want it rally and all caged up? It's up to you. Have I got time to look really? But look at these trees, they're beautiful. Colours. It's like being in Scandinavia. Really keen to know if you had £150,000 to spend on a brand new MST Mark 1 or Mark 2 in this spec, this engine, this gearbox, would you? Or would you rather a different type of new car? It has to be a new car.
supportive with comments and if you've been a Patreon salt on the senses that is. There's an increasing number of people who instead of buying things like supercars, brand new supercars, are buying resto mods and brand new old stuff like this and there's a reason for that and I've said it before it's because these cars can be used more you can get more out of them on the roads that we've got that aren't changing in size. You could look at this and say 150 odd thousand pounds that's an enormous amount of money for what is a Mark II Escort, but the engine and gearbox alone on this particular car are nearly knocking on the door of 50 grand. But it's about the way it feels. This car, for example, is gonna be sitting in a collection with a load of other exotic cars. And it's raw and it's engaging. And it's just, it's just so much, it's just so much unbridled analog fun. And that's what it is all about. And that's why the future, I think, is very, very bright for this sort of car. And that's why I've been championing it on the Late Break Show for so long. I hope you've enjoyed this particular episode. Let me know in the comments below, would you have an MST Mark I or Mark II with this drivetrain combination, or would you have a different drivetrain combination? Oh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe. And also we have a lovely array of merch. We have a merch shop, and I will put a link for that in the description below. I'm freezing, I'm going home. Mm -hmm.